So let's try to answer this problem. Evaluate the following. A, 5 factorial. B, 6P3. C, 5C2. So let's start with letter A, 5 factorial. So to evaluate 5 factorial, we simply apply the formula for n factorial equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times dot 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 until we reach 1. So basically, n factorial is equal to the product of the factors starting from n and 1 less than the number succeeding it until we reach the last factor of 1. So therefore, 5 factorial is equivalent to 5 times 5 minus 1, 4, 4 minus 1, 3, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 minus 1, 1. And then we stop here since the last factor is already 1. So we just multiply 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. It's 120. Next, for B, to evaluate 6P3, we can use the formula NPR, where NPR stands for the permutation of n things taken r at a time. It's equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial. So in our given, the value of our n here is 6, and the value of our r here is 3. So evaluating 6P3, applying this formula, substitute the value, we have n factorial. So n is 6. We have 6 factorial over n minus r quantity factorial. So let's subtract n minus r. 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial. And then applying the formula for factorial on our previous problem, 6 factorial is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So you can cancel 3, 2, and 1. Therefore, we will have 6 times 5 times 4 equal to 120. Finally, to evaluate C, C is 5C2. This time, we can use the formula for NCR, where NCR stands for the combination of N things taken R at a time, which is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. So in our given, the value of our n is 5 and the value of our r is 2. So substituting these values to evaluate 5c2, we have n factorial. So we have 5 factorial over n minus r quantity factorial. So let's subtract n minus r. So 5 minus 2 is 3 factorial times r factorial so we have 2 factorial so simplifying this applying uh, the definition of factorial 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 factorial it's equal to 3 times 2 times 1 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1 so we can cancel 3 2 1 also we can cancel 2 with the 4 4 becomes 2 so therefore, we are left with the factors of 5 and 2 on the numerator. So we simply have 5 times 2 or 10.